I have a profound belief in the destiny of this great country. Its future is bright with promise. Its future is bright with promise. To paraphrase the words of glorious John Milton, I see a puissant nation mewing her mighty youth. Malala kuraba kanja, kawana murukini nanyare na kuon, jankana mango i benjana mango, i bam minba mango. And a free and virile people, widely spread through her far flung heritage. I see her a great nation with outstretched arms encircling a continent. Standing erect and gazing with clear and friendly eyes upon a world which has no cause to fear her and which she does not fear. Ours is a great and glorious heritage and we must defend it at all hazards. We must create conditions which will attract and maintain the virile population of whom a sufficient number must settle upon the land. And I can think of no way of settling people on the land except to make rural industry attractive. And to this, science can lend a most powerful aid. Science can make rural industries commercially profitable, making the desert bloom like a rose. It can make rural life pleasant as well as profitable. It can, with its magic wand, turn heaps of what is termed refuse into shining gold and by utilisation of byproducts, make that which was unprofitable to work profitably. Science will lead the manufacturer into green pastures by solving for him problems that seem insoluble. It will open up a thousand new avenues for capital and labour. And lastly, science, thus familiarised to the people, will help them to clear thinking. To the rejection of shams. To the re rejection. The rejection. The rejection. The rejection. The rejection of shams. To healthier and better lives. To healthier, healthier, healthier. healthier. To health healthier and better and better lives.